my original question that I had written down was how involved was reality and her family in the film? And then I see they were there last night and I looked downstairs at our studio and they're all here. Mm -hmm. So clearly very involved, but I'd love to hear about that process from all of you and what that added to the film. Well, this movie started with an article that Carrie Howley wrote. She's a journalist and screenwriter, and she was really involved in profiling reality, and then she was at her hearing, and so she really got to know her from that side of things. Um, and she visited her in prison, and so she was really involved and had made that connection with her family. And then years later, um, when I got involved, uh, I went down to Texas to meet her with my, our producer, Amanda, and, and from there, we just kind of um, struck up a friendship, even though she was sort of there were different like parameters. She couldn't leave. At first she was on house arrest and then we just kind of kept visiting and then once Amelia came on, she visited. So we kind of all just authentically befriended her and the family and they were so, um, they were so accessible and like put their trust in us over time. So, so my experience was that we, they just kind of became acquaintances and then friends that we could talk to, which was stressful because you never know how it's gonna turn out when they see the film. Yeah. Uh, but that, my experience was just getting to know them and, and seeing them as really warm in, in that way. Yeah, I mean, same. I was I went to visit Reality in Texas and spent time with her at her house, and I met all the animals that she rescued: her dog, <laughs> her cat, her horse. I did her yoga class and her CrossFit class, which it was a big mistake because I've never done yoga before. But I was trying to like show her that I could play her. I did both back to back, and I literally couldn't walk for like three days after. I think I texted you that I was like, I still can't walk. Um, and it was just really nice to kind of spend time with Reality at her house, and we had dinner and. Yeah, I kind of going into meeting reality, I thought I would have all these questions. But when I was there with her, I, I found myself just kind of getting to know her as a person. And I think that, that that's perfect, really, because that's what we're trying to do with this movie. We're trying to humanize reality and show people that she's so much more than just a name and a headline. Do you feel like you really know her now? Yeah, I mean, we text all the time. We send memes on Instagram to each other back and forth. No, I, I, I think she's an amazing person. It was honestly such a privilege to be able to play her because she's so unique. I think I'd love to know from all of you, and we can start with the guys in the back, what surprised you most about the story? Because when I was watching the film, I kept learning things about reality and her family that I was like, I, I did not know this. And I feel like audiences are going to feel that way too. But for each of you, when you pick up the script, what made you go, oh, what? Um, I had I had known about reality before I got the script. I was I had read a couple of articles, but honestly, her name was so interesting that I got even confused. Her name was I think I got confused by it, uh, to be honest. But then the things that you I mean, obviously, as as Amelia was saying, you the film tries to personalize this. This is a human being, right? And learning about her her background and who she is and how much of a a badass she is was not really written in the articles I had read about her. So that kind of thing to discover that was was fun. Um, I hadn't uh, I realized I hadn't heard of her story until I spoke to you on Zoom and I started researching it and I was like, oh, I'm I'm who this movie's talking about. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you will just like probably scroll through and just saw her name, didn't register the con the context of it all mm -hmm. and um but yeah so i was blown away by all the information in it i think it was yeah i was blown away by how she's just a normal girl like 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 me and she did one thing that changed her life forever and i feel like you don't have to be this important person to change the world and i think that's what was so cool about the story she's just a girl living her life and did one thing that affected so many people so we can all do that if we want to, you know. I might just send a wrong text to like the wrong person, but it could still change my life. Yeah, <laughs> and it will. <laughs> and it will. And I've done that. Yeah. yeah. Amelia, I'm sure there were a million things. Yeah, I mean the same thing. I didn't really know know about reality story, mm -hmm. and I just love that this script humanizes her and she just shows people how funny she is. When I read the script, I loved it and I thought it was really clever. But then when I went to meet reality and I actually saw firsthand how hilarious she is, I was like, this is amazing because people don't know that, you know, people just, you know, I feel like you can research about what she did, maybe why she did it. And a lot of there, are, you know, are a lot of things about her name, but there's not a lot about her personality, as as everyone said. And I think that people need to know that because she's an amazing person and she's so unique and she has so much integrity and 
um, something that really drew me to this was I, I read a, I watched an interview of reality and she said for the the FBI said for a woman to be that calm whilst being interrogated must mean she's some kind of like criminal mastermind. And they basically used her calmness to paint her as someone who is incredibly calculating and dangerous. And I just thought, well, to have the opportunity to play someone who's able to remain calm under pressure, but at the same time be so passionate about helping people and changing things for the better everywhere she goes. I think that's a very rare quality. And um, I think, yeah, characters like that don't come along very often in movies and people like that don't come along very often in life. So yeah, when I read it, I really wanted to be a part of it. I was wondering if anyone had a most memorable day on set that you wanted, that you think, when you think about the film, you're like, oh, that was my favorite day or the hardest day. Uh, a cool moment, like the, so I did a lot of working out for the film <laughs> and yeah. there was a day when we were shooting this scene in, in the CrossFit gym. And it was like the first scene I'd done where I was kind of working out on, on camera. and. I kept sending pictures to like Susanna and Amanda, the producer, and uh, I did the first shot and Danny like helped me like pre-workout, which I didn't know was a thing to get like a pump on with the muscles and everything. And we were like listening to like crazy, I think it was like Unholy by Sam Smith or something. Nice, and I was like trying nice. to work out and, uh, and then that we- was her pick. That was her, that was her pick. <laughs> yeah, 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 just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, we, yeah, we did the first take and the whole crew kind of clapped and it was like a cool moment. Cause I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's really fun. Um, so that was my favorite scene. That was fun to shoot. Yeah. But all of them were really fun. I mean, every scene with Zach was hilarious, obviously. And scenes with Catherine, I love Catherine. I just, yeah, I had so much fun with everyone. I really liked the wedding scene because Sarah, our costume designer, got the actual dress that Brittany wore to her wedding. She got oh. it in white. She dyed it to the exact champagne pink. A lot of the clothes were exact. The exact same things that you see pictures of them yeah, we wearing. We did the pictures side by side. We did yeah. like a comparison and sent it around. You know, we'll be posting it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, was there a day that stuck out to you? No. No. Um, <laughs> well, the, I mean, outside, outside of the work thing, we all went to a hockey game and we went to see oh, the yeah. uh, Winnipeg Jets. And that was, so that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And then also staying in a haunted hotel. That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys stay in the haunted? I stayed in the haunted hotel. Yeah. Apparently, the room I was in was something something really bad happened in that room. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. was this haunted hotel? Winnipeg, Winnipeg. Canada. Winnipeg. Oh. Highly recommend. <laughs> Where? You said that like, oh yeah, the, yeah, like, the, the haunted hotel <laughs> city. That makes sense. Where, by Winnipeg. the way, you can get pierogies are a topping that you can get on your hot dog at a Jets game. That's amazing. Well, did you get that? No, I, I, I got it, and it was amazing. It was. I don't know what that is. Like how many pierogies? Like lot, like a bunch of mini pierogies, as though it's pickles, but they're. Learn something new. Canadian dumplings. Yeah. I think uh, my last question is, I'm curious what you're hoping audiences are going to walk away learning or, or feeling about this film. Because I think I walked away with a completely different concept of reality than, <laughs> than <laughs> <Yeah>. I did <laughs> going into <laughs> that, it. That happens a yeah. lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think the, the, the goal with this movie was also, I mean, as Amelia said, it was just to humanize and dimensionalize a person who's mostly known as a headline, particularly because of her name. And people sort of like, you know, they the the short attention span with which people like read the news and they're like, oh, blonde girl from Texas, silly name, like I know everything I need to know about her, and they really don't. But I think it's it's kind of a mix of what everyone said, like just the idea that that you don't have to sort of look like you're in a movie about important people in DC to do something that has an impact. Mm -hmm. And also just that that she's sort of, yeah, there's something so accessible and normal about her from her sense of humor to her style to just the fact that she just kind of grew up in Texas, not in a family that was priming her to do what she ended up doing. And she's like so incredibly authentic to who she is. And she's such a mix of things. And so in that way, like just her, her confidence in putting herself out there and having I'm just like betting on herself throughout her whole life and then making this one decision. I just sort of admire someone with that much, with like balls that big basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Encouraging more people to speak up about things and. Defend what they believe in. Yeah, yeah. Like she can't not do that. She can't not comment and she can't not, we all know people like that. And sometimes, yeah, I, I admire that so much in her. So hopefully people watching the movie will feel like, okay, I should get involved in changing things and not just assume I can't have an impact. Yeah. Danny? Yeah, I think it was um, watching it yesterday. Um, the thing that resonated outside of watching it, like on my laptop, was like the, um, got to feel the, how she woke up in everyone that energy. So, like, 
sometimes you think if you're the only one going into battle, it's going to be just you against the world. And you slowly got to see her family and everyone that she came in contact with kind of wake up and see what's possible as like her light dimmed a little bit by like being like um, the system kind of beating down on her. You got to see everyone else step up and realize like the, the change that they're able to take on. And I thought that was like beautiful and hopeful. And, and that, that only happens when you fully show the, the, the full dimension of someone and you get to put context to every action that they do. And I thought, yeah, I think that's what I want people to take away from that. Yeah. Zach? Um, yeah, I think, the, I think they spoke to it already. It's just kind of letting people know, to inspire people to speak up for the truth and to, to say something if they see something as iffy. It's a weird, I mean, it's, it's very brave for someone to do that. It's incredibly hard. Your life is going to shift. Mm -hmm. Even if you think it's going to shift a little bit, it's going to shift a lot. And it certainly, hap certainly happened with reality. So that's a brave person. You see something that seems wrong. You say something knowing there's going to be a penalty. That's what all heroes are made of. Catherine, I feel like you kind of you've answered this before, too. I feel like it's the same. But last night at the premiere, when everyone stood up and started clapping for reality in the theater, I think he felt it. We just, you know, mm. she's been through so much. and She was so young. Yeah. I'm thinking about myself right now. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. She had, like, she had nothing to gain and everything to lose. And she lost everything by trying to bring this lie to the to the american people and i think that's as you say it's incredibly brave and i think it's very rare i think a lot of people in life i'm, I'm definitely one of these people i kind of let life play out the way it is and right and i think yeah it takes a hell of a person to stand up and and speak out because if you don't speak out nothing's gonna change yeah it's interesting like when we were shooting just sometimes we would just ask people on the crew or just like, would you do what she did? Would you? And like, it was not, not everybody was saying, oh yeah, of course I would. Like there were a lot of people who were like, oh God, no, like I could never, or yeah. I would think about it and I wouldn't do it. You know, it's, it's, I think we just want to ask that. I want people to just ask the question when they leave, like, would I have done it? Do I think she was right or wrong? And to not know, but to always be asking is kind of what we hope yeah. people will leave with. Like, we're not trying to tell them what to think. We just want them to think, you know. Yeah.